whatever. We'll see what we can do with the with what we're given, you know. There's only so much we can be given and handle. Alright, bro. Shit happened. Hey. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah. The king won't deal with them. I discovered that patients in the Vanguards have a troubled history. See? That oh. Right. Shit, that's not what I want to talk about. Ah. Uh. King won't deal. That's most unfortunate. In this circumstance, I've been instructed to send you along to Colonel Moore over at Hoover Dam for further orders. For the Colonel will likely send you back to Freeside with a squad of armed men. For all the good that will do. Sounds like the Colonel and you and the Colonel don't get along. Oh, I like the Colonel just fine. She's a good soldier, one of the best. I just don't think her general approach to things is a good fit here. See... The Colonel likes to solve things neatly, quickly, and efficiently through a show of force if possible and through actual force if necessary. That won't work here. Unless she plans on killing half the population of Freeside, sending soldiers to the area will only make things worse. What do you suggest? I'd suggest you speak to Colonel Shu over at Camp McCarran. He's much more level-headed about this sort of thing. He's also in a better position to bargain with the people of Freeside, seeing as how he's in charge of water and power distribution in the area. Still... I'm only mentioning it as an option. My official orders are to direct you to Colonel Moore. Godspeed. All right, so I'll bet you if I had used my favor, I could have been like, bro, don't, and that would be mission end right there. Right there. But now I got to do an extra step because I didn't do that. But you know what? I guess you got to really think about it. Like, there's only one favor you get. That's it. Use it wisely. And he said that. And I was like, well, tits. I could have made my way into the into the strip. It's all good. It's not like we really use the king anyway. So if, if things go wrong, you know. But I'm going to go see uh, Colonel Sue down in Camp McCarran. Which is actually quite close by. And I'll be like, hey, J Colonel. We'd like to do this gently. Can you be a little more persuasive? I don't want to have to kill Pacer and then and then all the kings hate me. You know what I mean? Because I'm respected by the kings right now. Or at least I think so. All right, McCarran. I haven't been here in ages. And I've done a lot for Camp McCarran as it is, so this could be good. I just want to make sure I'm going the right way. One second. Holy shit, that's pretty far. Expect me to walk all the way the fuck over here? I just want to look real quick. Where the hell is this cat? I, I think I may have already talked to this guy. Indirectly, of course, but... All right, my friend, whereabouts are you? Wow. Something this, I can do for you? This We're is your desk? The work you've done for us. I thought you might be able to make use of this. It's a key to a little hideaway south of oh. here. We've used it as a place for rangers to rest and resupply. I thought you might get good use out of it. Thanks. 
Got a safe house key. Cool. I'm here to provide support. Is there anything I might be able to help with? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. You can, you seem calm, given things are as bad as they, as they are. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. Who are the fiends? I know who they are. As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. Ah, Vault but 3, yes. more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. I'll take care of it. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. I'll go to Vault 3 and see if I can find your ranger. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. New mission Watch to do. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But Fucking the man assholes. You're for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw, you found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. They already like me, so. How are things going for the NCR around here? Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. It's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. Where does that leave you? Now we're trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers, because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. Okay, well, where's the information? Oh, here we go. I bet I can make the Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. I might try that. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Anything else? I could look into who's leaking NCR intelligence. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival... At least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. There's a lot of information here we're getting. Anyway, finally. Ambassador Crockett said to come see you about the situation with the Kings of Freeside. Ah, that. I'm surprised he didn't send you to Colonel Moore. That'd be her jurisdiction. He said those were his official orders, but suggested seeing you anyway. Because he's looking to avoid a bloodbath. I get it. He knows me. All right. Moore's not going to like it, but that's for Crocker to worry about. Go to the leader of the Kings. And tell him that I'll make sure Freeside gets more water, power, and food. As long as the violence there stops. Awesome. Is there anything no else I can talk is. to? I haven't had the privilege, but I'm told you've been an angel on our shoulder. It's our main... I don't really think I need to know about this. Uh, one second. Unfortunately. Okay. I want to get going. Everything. I've already asked about him anyway, so... All right, so we got everything we needed from him. We could probably solve the issue in Freeside right away if we want. Oh, shit. Crap. Um, hold on. I might switch it up. There's probably a big, like that last, the, that I put a spell on you crap is probably the interrogation mission. Um, something about going to Vault 3 as well. I'd like to take care of that. There's a lot of missions. and there's w This game is way bigger than Fallout 3, I think, in terms of amount of optional objectives.
I think. I could be wrong. Alright, one second. Let me just, uh, I may have to reload that, like, right now. Alright, uh, I put a spell on you. I'll just go right back in. She said she's right above. I'd like to help interrogate because I know my speech is good. And I'll say before I go in because you never know if it isn't. But I can make these motherfuckers talk. So I gotta go up one level. Have a quick word. And since I'm here, I might as well talk to him and make that go a little bit further, you know? Right above his, right? So... I'm just gonna go over here and see what happens. Nothing here. Aha! Hi. Go on through, soldier. Thank you. Wait, no, what is this? I don't want that. Hmm. She must be somewhere here. I may talk to the guy again and ask. I'm surprised I didn't get a mission for it. Hi. Boyd's in there with a the prisoner right now. Can I go see? Where? Get the fuck out of the way, Rex. Dude, where? Oh, wait. Aha. You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Right. Do you need help? Yeah. So far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's Legion recently. Is that a big deal? Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's Legion, from Caesar on down, will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy, they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army, and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Or he's trying to Only blow himself up from the inside. Only time he insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. What about truth drug? Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. You probably beat him but up. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. I could have a word with him. Why don't you just beat him senseless? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? The problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. Well, I'm not NCR. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. So you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. Uh, I object. Ah, oh, tear my heart out, why don't you? Well, maybe you can find a way to play with his mind. Get him out of his comfort zone. I think I People might be able to. People lose their heads and say things they regret. Especially if they underestimate you. This dickhead would underestimate a nuclear missile. Plenty of ways to skin a cat, as they say. 
Hey, what if we skinned him? But he wouldn't be so smug then. God, she's brutal. Okay, I'll save, and then I'll tell her I'm ready. Okay. You're back. Well, fuck off, really? Have <laughs> you tried calling him hurtful names? Yes, and one time I thought... I'll just beat him senseless. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Cool. So if that doesn't work, I can actually beat him shitless. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. Oh, how bitch. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles. Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Let's finish this up, then we can talk. Let's have what a word. What little worm you are. Look at this shit what face. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? I think you're confused. I'm with the excrement right now. You must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Fuck, I'd beat Whatever the shit out of them. I head. hope I was there to give the order. You must miss giving orders, not all that your men are dead. Foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves. To have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves to evade capture because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. Sounds to me like you were too gutless to follow Caesar's orders. I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. I'll spill your guts all over this room. Well, it's working. Get away from me. Wait, come back. Let's finish this up, then we can talk. Is something the matter, Silus? You look upset. Here, maybe you'd better step out for a moment. You've upset him. I'm out. Your friend is a miserable fucking degenerate. I don't know. I, I look like a fucking badass. Guy. If we were on the other side of the river, I'd have him torn apart by dogs. I fucking love to see that, a bitch. Walk, Silus. I don't think it's gonna happen. You'd better just talk. Your tactics are a joke. If you don't like dealing with me, I can bring my friend back in. Both of you can rot. Have it your way. Fine, let me back Come in. Come back in. I think he misses you. Ha! Thank you. What's up, dick nugget? Is that what C list means and cunt don't have speak? Anything to discuss, worm. Oh really? You sure talk tough for someone who's afraid to die. 
But I want to know how a coward can attain the rank of a centurion. Coward? I've faced odds that would make your NCR soldiers wet themselves. I've led charges against men with guns carrying only my knife. And I can tell you, it was they who feared me. But suicide is a weak death on a battlefield. It says to your enemy that you fear capture. It says if you're caught, you can be broken. That doesn't sound so threatening. And if you can't go through with it, you look even weaker. You think I'm going to slit my throat for some megalomaniacal self-appointed dictator? Aha! I didn't work my way up to have it all be taken from me out of some irrational paranoia. Kaisar's losing it. I believe that. He's been shutting himself in his tent. Privately, he complains of headaches. Whatever it is, it's affecting his ability to lead. Time was essential for my mission, but we waited three days for him to dispatch us. Another of his headaches. Does that sound like a man in command? He has an operative planted in this very base, but does he use his agent to rescue me? No. He's content to have the agent spend his nights radioing troop positions back to our base camp. Ah. He knows I'm here, and he's left me to rot. Who's the operative? I don't know. I know he sends intelligence by radio in the middle of the night. Sometimes that intelligence would find its way to my cantery. I don't believe you. You're lying. Then you're a fool. That man reports to Kaisar on what I do here. The Legion isn't going to take me back. My only hope is to escape and disappear. But if I escape and he reports it, they'll hunt me down as long as I live. It served me to report him as much as it served you. I think I've heard all I need to. You've been very helpful. I hope the Legion burns your wretched body at the stake when they conquer this place. Why don't Nothing you I eat a dick? You would do anything to stop that. Can I keep talking? Get away from me. Oh, what you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? Are, are you gonna... Oh, take this dick, bitch. Yeah? You like this dick? Swallow it, huh? I can show you what the fuck... Oh, get back up there. Get back up there. Oh, hold on. I almost had him. I want him to deep throat this properly. Yes. Yes. Yes! Eat it! Fucking eat that shit! Swallow it, Silas! Fucking swallow it! In and out! That's it! Legion hasn't prepared you for this! Now they said to kill yourself, but they didn't say I'd be chopping your, your head off with my dick, did they? This big fat juicy dick for you, huh, Silas? You fucking greasy ass motherfucker! Keep talking! And I'll fucking slap the living shit out of you with my cock! Anyway, let's get out of here! <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him, and I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm going to talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. Thanks, girl. Goodbye. Yep. See you around. You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to general by now. Thanks, bro. Hey, Silas, how did that big dick taste, huh? Fucking dickhead. I, I can't stand these pricks, man. I hate the Legion with all my heart. That's why I can never side with them. They have such a stupid way of thinking. I've been here before. What is it? Hi, buddy. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Hi, Curtis. Wanted me to help you look into recent intelligence leaks. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last leave went cold weeks ago. Where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras. Ah, oh, I should have went maybe. this guy first. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. 
I'm just itching to return the favor. Shit. Well? Hold on. I, I'm probably gonna have to talk to what's-her-name again. Just to confirm it. That's kind of stupid. I hope it didn't glitch or I'd have to reload that section. It shouldn't matter, though. She's right here. She'll probably just be like, yeah, so this is the situation. You're back. Yeah. Have you noticed anything sus suspicious? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Who's missing? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. And I already talked to Sue about Colonel it. Colonel Shue sent him out. Shue. Sorry. No, I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. What else can you tell me? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Okay, tell me about the break-ins. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. That's that prick. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. No, it isn't, though. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Would you be willing to give me the control tower access key so I can check it out? Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. Cool. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. You said there have been thefts. Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's it's supposed the whole to be thing. in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. I'll keep an eye out for missing supplies. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Alright. Bye. Alright, so that worked. Huh. What is this? Major, this is to inform you that a small sniper nest has been successfully set up at near Cottonwood Cove as requested. The next the nest should have a some bedding and a small amount of supplies but no weaponry. The sniper should be forewarned that the position is close to the enemy camp and upon completing his or her objective should get the fuck out of there as soon as flamingly possible. The coordinates of 12, negative 22, good luck and good hunting signed. The Lion David Field Preparations Division. What the hell is that talking about? Alright, hold on. Let me go outside. What time is it? It's 12. So the guy could be here. Let's head on out. He very well could be here. Or in the tower. Because they said it was in the middle of the night. And usually they do it around midnight, so. And that was regarding Cottonwood Cove. That's where... That note, that, that's where... Uh, that, that, that's like a legion camp. I, I'm hated there. You know what I'm gonna try? I've never actually accessed the computer. 